Hello and welcome to the second part on the realistic cooking experience. Now I've had changing mods since the first episode. I've uh, decided to go with the Grimes' real company and Taylor's Pack, so that changed the names of the companies in the game to more realistic real ones. But that means I've had to sacrifice the uh, the real billboard and company textures mod anyway we'll get into it so we've got a lone star here guilty cab we're going to be taking some toys from walmart here in Tacoma and we're going to safeways over in Wenatchee it's 196 miles i'll just bring up the route here for you so this series is about being as realistic as possible with economy and things like that and i've enabled the realistic graphics mod and unfounded trans traffic density mod both of which are subject to staying or going because i'm not too sure how my pc handle it so we're going to leave tacoma here might pick up the truck dealer there as well past i hope we'll do it so we're going all the way up to 405 then on to the 90 97 down into an actually here but we'll just do a l there uh, get the recruitment agency or whatever it is down there. And let's get cracking, shall we? We're still using Robin Nicosia's uh, engine replacement pack for the truck, so might get a bit noisy. I don't know. at the moment it's looking like it could possibly be New Mexico with how they're laid out that we'll be visiting. Hopefully I might have enough to get me on to the trailer then and then we'll do some further realistic calls. But if I don't get enough money I'll just pick them quick jobs till I do. Could be a nice pleasant run this across, nothing too difficult or strenuous with it. Doing the quick jumps gives a good 
way of testing out drugs. You have to loan a star minion in that great to looking truck. It goes well and it pulls well enough. Different things. Uh, all the modern, I've listed all the modern music in there for now, but take some of them to get the change and what's uh, available, or I change them. I may change the engine sound pack for the next one. You need the seats. I'll don't be use raster Junior's engine sound pack because he. Today's card, and I'll say what date it is today, it's the 30th of January today, so I don't know when this will go up. But late last night, we put a Volvo sound mod up for ATS2, and I did ask him if he would convert it to the VNL in ATS, and which he has done. I have downloaded that, but when we get to use VNL in the quick job, I can't guarantee I won't know if it's a Cummins engine or a Volvo engine in it because you can't always tell what engines they are unless there's a Pacific Arts power that's a Pacific Grand engine in them by today's launch side no instantly it's going to be Cummings in them because that's what they use is Cummings in them Max just Mac engines normally the Volvo there, he was coming to the Volvo engine, and as you know, that the other makes use, makes like Pete that we can wear, normally you get the pack out, you get the coming to the cat in those, great liner I think it's just DDs, or it might be some coming as well, same as Western Star. Well, in the previous episode, we used a Cascadia. Our next one can be any of the trucks in the game. That's it. Specifically, with having to do some of everything, it's just what is available to where I want to go and what is either the highest paid job, the most on price per distance, things like that. I say no job should be more than about maximum about 350 land miles. That's because on ATS2 there's all, quite a few ferries on that. On this, there's only one ferry and it's only about four miles, so it doesn't really make a lot of difference. And that mileage range should get us round what we want to do. And yeah, we're using the RJM mod. If we do get the black sky issue. I will have to go on to FKRN, I think it is, 64, so I can download the Black Sky Spit, which I haven't got downloaded or installed yet, so... I'll probably release these on Sunday. So far in both series, so I'm going to take it from there because I have only have about six or seven more to record for the Reaper series. At the time of recording this one, obviously I've got one or two more than that to upload yet. I haven't enabled a sat down voice yet. 
When I get my own truck I might switch to manual, I may not, depends what I buy. But it saves, yes there's layouts in the game, so the 10, 13 and 18, but eight and 6, yeah, but it saves having to constantly the settings and change, no big thing, but if you come across a 12 speed and you want to drive it manual, there's no layout for a 12 speed. Well, unless you import it from ETS2, which I haven't done.
We'll still continue the other series, so... Yeah. Drive normally and talk to you. Not that you want to talk too much here. But, there we go. I may put the steering a little bit stiffer, but that...
not as easy as to cart this but it's nowhere near the hardest one in the game. We may get one of those and may not. You're at that, so engine up here. Yeah. Parking vehicle, difficult to tell in these trucks. Yes, it is now. Make sure. Load and get paid for this. And thank you for watching this video. Stay tuned for the next one where we'll be leaving Renacci for another city in Washington. Go and do some high value, fragile, then do the two here, so that means you might then may put one in distance and then fill some hazardous cargo long distance. There you what? Go away, because at least one in long distance, so that will give us deliveries up to the rank that we want, and then we'll build up from there. Okay. Yeah. So. Thank you for me, stay safe and roast up to my accent, so I'm goodbye to the next one. Bye, bye, bye.